Two local basketball teams were focused on winning more than just a game tonight. They want to help a two-year-old girl win her battle against cancer. Janice is joining us with this Positively Jack story. Janice. Tom, Mary, Lucy Simbach is the granddaughter of former Neptune Beach Police Chief and JSO Captain David Simbach. Now, she just turned two years old this week. She's diagnosed with a dangerous brain tumor. So tonight at the Bishop Snyder and Eagle View basketball game, they raise money to help with her medical expenses. Tonight, this basketball game is about more than just a win. Bishop Snyder High School and Eagle View Academy want this two-year-old girl, Lucy Simbach, to win the fight of her life. Her parents have been by her side as she fights cancer. Overwhelmed. It's, you know, grateful for everybody in the community that's coming out and supporting Lucy and um, kind of taking up her cause. Lucy was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Most of the tumor was removed just days before Thanksgiving. Now in rehab, Lucy is getting better, but another tumor may have appeared. Um, she's progressing uh, slowly, but uh, it's pretty amazing every day she keeps, keeps getting better and better. But the hospital visits have hurt this family hard, with a total in deductibles topping $15,000. A family friend has raised 18000 through a GoFundMe page. Tonight, led by Lucy's older cousin, basketball player, both teams have come together to play in honor of Lucy, calling it Light It Up for Lucy Night. All the money raised from the concession stands and gate entrance will go to Lucy's family in hopes that they can have a normal Christmas in the middle of a challenging time. We have a lot of family and friends, um, but even more so, we've also had complete strangers, um, you know, really reach out to us. And we um, have been saying it, we feel like more recently, we've actually had a lot more um, happy tears and sad tears. Tonight, they raised $2,000 for Lucy. Her parents, Casey and Melanie Simbach, told us there are so many people they want to thank, especially Beth Riger, who told us about their story. And Simbach family will learn in the next week if Lucy can come home for Christmas. Tom? Thank you, Janice. And please keep us updated. A lot of prayers going out for that family.